from Spencer Coldidge's wallpaper. And I've shown you this before in a previous video. I'm trying to get the camera on this overhang, okay? What we're going to do is trim the overhang without a rough edge. So the first thing I did, I got a very sharp blade. I put a brand new blade in here. And you want the shaft of the blade to be at least two inches because the shaft is going to cut the paper, not the point. So you want enough of the shaft exposed in order to cut it. Let's go inside. Come on. All right, exactly. I want you to get... Now, you can start here. I'll do that. And with a very sharp blade, I'll hit it. And it's got to be a quick motion, okay? Your paper has to be nice and secured and in place. to where you want it to be finally. Okay, so. <coughs> I'm gonna hold the wallpaper. <coughs> I've let this sit here for 10 minutes, so it's stuck to the wall, but if I pull too hard, it's gonna move. So let's get the wallpaper, let's get the wallpaper in the video, right here. Okay, just tape what I'm doing. I'm right up against that wall, okay? Look what I'm doing, I'm holding it tight, I'm pulling out, because I can't go down, I'm on the ladder. Watch this now. I pull it nice and tight, you, you got the camera right on here? Yep. Okay, cool. Now, with the last tip, I pulled the wallpaper down. I didn't push the blade up. If you saw, the blade wouldn't go any further. So you don't want to be fighting with the paper at the top and scratch up their woodwork. So you just pull the paper down. And we have a nice edge up there. Okay. Now, let's just do the final part. Mm. I think they should see it from this perspective right over here. They're not going to get it. If you go right over here, they'll get a better view, all right? Now, why do I start? If I start here, I'm going to... It's not going to be ideal if I start up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here. Check it out. You just go right out. Now, you see I got an advantage here. I'm going to hold it nice and tight. Boom. One. Come on, come all the way down with me. I come down. Okay, again, I pulled at the bottom, upward on the paper. Now, okay, just, you see how now it looks perfect here, right? But there's one piece in the whole cut that's going to give you a problem. Now, I have a previous video. You don't trim this until it's hard. So I'm gonna let this dry. Just now go up and down the edge. I do, let me just tell them about this. When it dry, you just take a six inch taping knife, you put it on this side, and then you just cut up against it. And then it, it's perfectly sharp. But you can't do it while it's wet. It's like cutting a marshmallow, not gonna happen. Okay, just go up and down the line. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. And that's how you cut a nice sharp edge with a nice sharp knife. Thanks for watching. Please click on like and subscribe. Thanks.